All right, if you guys have been watching my geothermal project, you know that I've been drilling holes and running pipes under the ground in a bunch of return loops. And these are the ones that have already been drilled and are sunk in the ground. You only see one pipe coming up per hole because the smaller pipes already been buried and they all tie together in that little pipe right over here. And that's the lower pipes. It goes underground. It's got a manifold that picks up all the all the little ones, except for these two. I gotta dig down and pick up these two. But I, obviously, I need a mechanical room to put all the equipment to run the geothermal, like the air compressor and or the compressor and the heat exchangers and the hot water heater. So I'm laying footers right now, and I'm going to. This whole area right here is going to be my mechanical room. Obviously, I got to go this way and then over, but I'm doing it in two stages and two pours. So the first pour is going to be the footers, and if you can see the rebar in the bottom, these little uh, supports right here have a wire that goes up, across, and then down, and they keep the rebar above the gravel so that way the cement can get underneath it and it gives it more support that way you see it goes all the way down here this is here and then I tied into the foundation and I'm going to tie in it to the foundation in a couple places but basically I just drilled two holes into the footer with the concrete drill and then I pounded some rebar in and then tied it together right there so that'll give it more support then I'm probably going to tie in again when I build the wall right up here. And then I'll probably tie in again at the very top just to make sure it's a part of the foundation altogether. You see the foundation will be up high. The footers, most of the footers are up high. So I'm probably going to have to do a cross beam and then tie into them way up there. So that'll be, uh, that'll be done once I get the, once I get the wall built. So I just want to film this for a couple of reasons. One, so I have a record of it, so I see everything before I pour the concrete and make the wall and fill it back with dirt. And also, so whoever's trying to do one of these, maybe they can give me some ideas and um, maybe learn a few things from what I've done. And that's it.